Your excuses will destroy you and take everything that you ever wanted from you. If you let them. When your excuses make you feel a little bit better about the fact that you didn't execute on what you needed to execute on, then they can make you feel better. But they're not helping you. They're not helping you at all. Why, is, why does discipline equal freedom? Because the more discipline you have in your life, the more freedom you will end up with. So if you lack the discipline to exercise and eat healthy, you will end up being a slave to disease. If you lack the discipline to work hard, save your money, you will end up a slave to finances. If you lack the discipline to manage your time correctly, you will end up with no free time. If you have self-discipline, if you have the discipline to save your money and work hard and invest your money properly, if you have the discipline to manage your time correctly and not waste a bunch of time, if you have the discipline to exercise and eat healthy, you will end up with freedom. If you want freedom in your life, you have to have discipline. Because if you're a kid right now and you're eating Doritos off your belly, I know they taste good and there's some immediate gratification, and I get that, but I'm gonna tell you, it starts right now. Throw that bag of Doritos away. Get rid of it. Go do some push-ups. Go spend $12 at the hardware store and hang up a pull-up bar in your room and start doing pull-ups. And if you can't do one pull-up, hang on that bar. And you're gonna start to get a little bit stronger. You just start to get a little bit healthier. You start to get more focused. You're gonna start to become more resilient. And you're gonna start to understand the world better. And you're gonna start to progress in every aspect of your life. And you'll see that if you have that kind of discipline right now, you're gonna end up with freedom. Because you're sad, now you're gonna make a bunch of bad decisions because you're sad. No, no, it doesn't, doesn't work like that doesn't work like that you're sad okay you get emotional sometimes okay got it now get control of your emotions and carry on with your life and sometimes you're gonna get hit with those waves and that's okay no at a certain point you say okay my emotions are now leading me down the wrong path I'm in control I'm not gonna allow my emotions to make my decisions they're in the calculus I'm not saying take your emotions out of the calculus, but they have to be one component of your calculus, not the whole equation. You can't pull them out of there or they'll bite you, but you can't make them the overwhelming denominator of everything that you do, or it's gonna be problematic. You have to start moving forward. You have to start taking steps in order to improve your vision, improve your perspective, change your perspective, make some kind of progress. And worst case scenario, you figure out that you walked the wrong direction. Okay, now you can go walk in the other direction. And that's, that's gonna be fine. But standing there lost and not doing anything is just waiting to die, waiting to starve to death. Don't let that happen. I had to condition people to take action, even in the SEAL teams. Even a young SEAL leader who you would think would be by nature aggressive and an action taker, you put them in a pressure situation where there's not a ton of information and they need to make a decision, they don't want to act either. So one of the things that I would teach was that their default mode was to be aggressive.